Hi, this is Ash from Mego Experts. This is a uh, first hands on with the Mego tablet. This is the XOPC running version 1.2 of the pre alpha user interface. Let's step right into it. Okay, it's, it's actually in a switched off state. We'll switch it on now so you can see it boot up in its full glory. Da 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 da. Drum roll, please. Uh, as I stated, it is pre-alpha, so um, by by no means is this supposed to take on the iPad at this stage. Do I believe it can take on the iPad as long as everyone pulls together, uh, the developers can uh, all get behind it? I can't see why not. Now it's general boot on times, so that's not too bad. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is the user interface. I'm sorry about the amount of time it's actually taken us to get this video out. I've had some technical problems at Mobile World Congress, MWC, and that sort of hindered getting this out. So do apologise about the delay, but here we are. With Mego, it does things slightly differently. Um, opposed to sort of icons or uh, home screens, uh, we've actually got different panes here so initially on the left hand side if we see here we've got a my tablet there you can go to general applications you've got friends videos music photos and recent websites so the idea is you can actually scroll around to the different media um, aspects that might interest you and you can flick through etc so here uh, this is a feed of all you lovely people that follow me on Twitter uh, the Twitter feed is same as the website name which is Mego Experts so please feel free to follow me uh, direct message me with any suggestions etc etc so here I've just selected someone's tweet uh, obviously they had to be protected user <laughs> and now let's click on on the top left here uh, we've got a little sensor which I might not be pressing correctly uh, which acts as a back button uh, and all the rest of the panes work quite similar to each other so here we've just selected on a, vid a video now this video is pre-loaded don't think that I sit around at home and watching this generally the quality etc is not too bad we can scroll through it uh, reasonably well forward to another one. Oh, lovely kittens again no problems seems to do it quite well again uh, music similar thing so here we can select one of the tracks that we played earlier this one's loaded in previously as well select back again and as you can tell the music is actually playing in the background and we can still scroll around uh, then we can go down to recent uh, websites let's find a really good website for you then this one should do the trick oh Miko experts who would have thought Now that renders reasonably well. Uh, Migo is going to support WebKit HTML5, and if that's any of the rendering that we've gonna, we're going to see, it's going to be pretty brilliant. Let's click on back. Um, now this is pre-alpha, as we've said, etc., etc. It's got a few little bugs here, so if we select view all, all applications, that actually comes uh, doesn't rotate round properly. One of the things I wanted to show you is this little buddy here which is a nice terminal access which means you can get under the hood um, there's no need to you know route this particular uh, device you've already got a route access you don't have to jailbreak it like you do for iPhone etc etc everything's ready to kick off and let me just pause that track uh, now hopefully this uh, particular version is out now the community is going to be able to get their hands on it and I do see 
good things coming uh, from this. So this is a hands-on uh, with the Migo tablet and hopefully I'll bring you some new and exciting things as they happen. This is Ash, Migo Experts.